Hey guys, today I'm just going to share for this episode six very very easy commands and then after this one I'm going to get into more difficult commands again. But these are very very simple, just easy ways to quickly edit your world. The first one is forward slash toggle downfall, let's type that in. Um, you can use tab completion by the way, so if I half complete a word and then press tab it will finish it for me if there are no other options. Now if I execute that, then you'll notice the sky darkens. Now because this is actually a desert biome, it's not going to rain, but under normal circumstances, it will start raining. Now if I press T and then up to retrieve the command again, and then press enter, you notice the sky will start to lighten up and the rain will go away. The next one is also pretty easy, forward slash seed. Now if you don't know what a seed is, let me show you. It's just a series of numbers that affects the generation of a world and you can change it by, okay, so let's go create new world and you can go more world options and then you can enter a seed which you can use. Let's go back into the world. All right, so we're back. The next one is also very easy. Let's go hmm, time. So if I go forward slash time, what I can do is that I can add, set, and query. Now I'm not going to get into query at the moment, but for now, time set, um, we can choose day or night. So let's set the time to day, and you'll notice that there's little to no difference. Now let's go time set to night, and you'll notice that it's just sunset at the moment, and the moon is rising. Now, what if you want things other than just these times? Well, you can learn these yourself, but you can go forward slash time, and you can actually set a specific number, like zero. So zero is the beginning of the day, when you first spawn. Now, what if I type in time set 1000? Well, the sun goes up. If I go time set 2000, the sun goes up. And what I can actually do instead is that I can go time add 1000. So I'm just adding to the time. There we go. So you can see the sun moves every time I press T and then up to retrieve the command. Now you can go like time add 24,000. And you'll notice that the sun actually doesn't change, but it is now day one. Let's add to the time again, and it's now day two. And then hopefully, yes, you'll be able to see that local difficulty here is going up. So as you do this, the game actually gets harder in the area that you are in. Um, depending on multiple circumstances, it's very complicated. The next one, forward slash game mode. Um, very easy, you type in forward slash game mode and you can select from survival, creative, adventure and spectator mode. Now if you don't know what these things do, well creative mode, I'd assume you know, you get infinite inventory, instantly mine blocks. Survival mode, let's go game mode S and then press tab and then it will automatically select survival mode for me. So this is the one where you can uh, mine up resources and get things. And now let's go game mode um, adventure, where I cannot break or place blocks. And then finally game mode spectator, in which I can move within blocks and I cannot interact with the world around me. So those are the simple things. You can also use numerical values. Game mode 0 for survival, 1 for creative, 2 for adventure, and 3 for spectator. So I prefer using the numerical values just because that's what I've grown up with. And then, another easy command, the difficulty command. If I type in forward slash difficulty, and then tab, which gives me all the options that I can use, I can choose between peaceful, easy, normal, and hard. Now these can be pretty self-explanatory. On peaceful difficulty, there are no hostile mobs, so these creepers will instantly despawn. However, if I set the difficulty to easy, then you'll notice that the creepers will spawn. Now you can also use numerical values again. Difficulty 0 is peaceful, 1 is easy, 2 is normal, and 3 is hard. And now the final one I want to show you is the spawn point command. Now this is pretty obvious, but basically, if I just set my spawn point here, I'm going to press forward slash SP and then tab twice, actually, and then I can, oh, yes, the other really simple one, forward slash kill. I will respawn in this exact spot. So if I move over here and set my spawn point here and then just move somewhere else, 
and kill myself, you will notice that I will come back to this spawn point. Now again, all of these can be activated with commands. Now there are a lot more to these commands than um, what I've explained in this video, but I will be able to explain them more in depth as we go deeper and deeper into the mechanics of commands. But for now, have fun playing around with these commands, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.